stars. Man is moving closer to them, using his knowledge to realize dreams he has held for centuries. of the space age is helping to provide some of the answers to improving our mobility on Earth. One approach to meeting the needs of a more mobile society has been that taken by Canadian National Railways and United Aircraft Corporation. The result is a new stage in intercity transportation. designed to move people quickly and efficiently between large population centers. Cities like Toronto and Montreal, both with more than two million people and with just 300 miles separated. Research has established that 80% of all travel takes place between cities up to 500 miles apart, with the probability in the near future of one great super city stretching from Chicago to New York or Windsor to Montreal. Rail facilities offer a potential solution to mass transportation problems. Cost remains relatively low if no track modification is required. To get turbo from the drawing boards to the rails, hundreds of thousands of man hours were required. To cut one hour off normal running time, to take curves 30% faster, meant a new approach, letting requirements shape the vehicle entirely new from the ground up. Then followed a period of exhaustive testing and modification. A ground rule in the development of turbo was adaptability to existing rail facilities. The track remains the same. Everything else has changed. Brain safety test flexor switch to arm. 
In wind tunnels, air passing over the model at 160 miles per hour determined Turbo's aerodynamic shape. At speeds of more than 80 miles per hour, drag or wind resistance reduces efficiency. Doors and windows were set flush and the front shaped to slice through the air. These features helped Turbo to achieve speeds of up to 170 miles per hour on test runs. In regular service, its initial maximum speed is 95 miles per hour. The heart of Turbo is the ST6 gas turbine engine. When assembled, it weighs only 300 pounds, yet it delivers 400 horsepower for Turbo. Each seven-car unit has five engines, four to drive it, and one to power a generator which supplies... Five trains, each capable of carrying 300 people, were built by MLW Worthington, Montreal, a prime contractor. The coaches are constructed of aluminum alloy. A seven-car turbo weighs 185 tons, about one-third the weight of a diesel-powered train with the same passenger and service capacity. The aircraft-like assembly with welded construction provides strength and passenger protection equal to or greater than conventional steel bodies. More than 36 miles of wiring connects about 100 split-second relay and control points. Heavy insulation and slightly pressurized interiors reduce noise and provide a barrier against dust and dirt. As the cars take shape, the welded joints are buffed down so the exterior is one flawless surface from end to end. Doors set in the center of the cars for easier exit and entry are controlled automatically. Everything compact, miniaturized, transistorized to keep weight down and leave more room for people. Cars are semi-permanently connected, operating as a single unit to give smoother acceleration and braking. Before its regular runs, Turbo is checked and readied in special maintenance bays. Maintenance procedures are similar to those followed for aircraft, with parts replaced on a preventive maintenance basis.
Between runs, turbo is fueled and its water tanks filled. Food is loaded aboard for both the cafe and turbo club meal service. Because it is bi-directional, turbo does not need to be turned around when it reaches destination. It can be cleaned, serviced, and ready to welcome another set of passengers soon after its arrival. distinctive features are the power dome cars at either end. They exemplify in their design much of the new thinking embodied in Turbo's construction. Turbo's suspension system is designed to permit it to take roadbed curves at speeds up to 30% higher than conventional trains. The principle of the self-banking pendulous suspension is based on supporting the cars at a point above the center of gravity. When turbo rounds a curve, the force that tends to throw the car outward is reversed. The car is banked into the curve, turning in the way an aircraft does. Two cars share a single set of wheels instead of the conventional setup where each car has two independent trucks of four wheels each. Exterior designed for speed is matched by a luxurious interior designed for people. For Turbo Lux passengers, the cafe provides takeout service, drinks, and snack items. Microwave ovens cook hot food specialties in a matter of seconds. Before installation on Turbo, Prototype galleys and cafe cars were built and all menu items tested in experimental food labs. Club service is symbolized by its hostesses, young and exciting, made more so by their fashionable clothes designed with a boutique flair.
Turbo Ensemble is an easy but elegant answer to the wardrobe requirements of the Turbo Hostesses. The full Turbo schedule will call for both day and evening runs, so the Hostesses must provide a variety of meal services. The wardrobe is versatile, designed for good looks and comfort. ensemble has a go-together practicality most women strive for, and yet it is not a uniform. In the evening, she wears the pantsuit to serve the dinner meal to Turbo Club passengers. For Turbo, a new railway dining concept was necessary in view of the shorter running time between cities and the faster turnaround time in terminals. Gourmet-style meals provided for Turbo Club passengers are prepared in special kitchens and delivered to trackside in portable ovens just before departure. Main courses served separately vary from day to day on a 15-day cycle. Menu items include filet mignon forestier, veal cordon bleu, roast tenderloin of beef, cocovan, and Cornish game hen. With the inner man so carefully catered to, his surroundings cannot be ordinary. Imagination, attention to detail, are reflected in the selection of material for interior decor. Hand-woven fabrics offer a pleasing contrast to the modern environment. Designers were presented with an opportunity to deal with Turbo as a single unit from the ground up. They coordinated every feature to create an enjoyable travel experience. hospitality, and well-trained hostesses contribute to the informal yet efficient service on board. They are well-versed in everything from passenger safety and comfort to the recipes behind the meals they serve. Turbo after dark means a pleasant, relaxed way to travel as the outside world whisks by a colorful montage of flashing lights. There is still time to plan for an evening of fun, but the destination is downtown at the center of things, where the glamour which began with Turbo can continue with the sophistication and excitement of the city.
behind the beat, the beads, the beards, and the miniskirts, living patterns are changing. The vast majority of people have become urban dwellers, people on the move. Turbo is a positive expression of this fast-paced era, a symbol of man's ability to employ creative technology to serve the needs of a mobile society. The Toronto-Montreal corridor experiment could be the basis for a new kind of service between other close yet heavily populated areas. Turbo itself is considered a first step, not a final solution. Tomorrow. Could be wheels will be the next to go, and passengers will travel on a cushion of air. Whatever the answer is, Turbo is helping to bring it closer. <laughs>